people training with the recruits. And Kendra, could you become a deputy? Alex, I consider myself in good shape, but I died, so I don't know if I could. <laughs> These recruits go through a lot, but it's all to make sure they're ready to hit the streets when they graduate. They flip tires, climb over walls, run, run, and more running. I jumped into PT for the day to see what they go through. It's going to be a long day. It's <laughs> not fun. So how was the stair climb? I'm complaining a lot. <laughs> A lot of it just depends on uh, how prepared they were when they came in. Uh, you know, their different backgrounds and stuff. You have some recruits where you know they'll go through the entire academy, and you know it doesn't seem that hard for them. It seems like they they excel and they do really well. And then you have other recruits that it's it's just the hardest thing that they've ever done. It's a 21-week program. You get tested mentally and physically. Push all to prepare to be a law enforcement officer. We want to train them and give them the proper tools so that they make this a career. And you know, we want them for the long haul. We want them for the 25 years. After just a small PT session, I was exhausted. My training partner, Clarissa Willis, says it's been intense, but she trained before going into the academy. Finding, finding why you're here, you got to remind yourself why you're here or else you kind of just want to give up a little bit because it's really hard. This specific class is only eight weeks in. Some will drop out or fail out because of how hard it is. We have to prepare them for those worst case scenarios. But pretty soon, they'll have new officers ready to defend the community. Now these recruits are close to halfway done, so of course we wish them all the best of luck. Alex, back to you.